Hi friends, I'm Beth and I'm back with another episode of How I'm Doing It. Today, we're going to UGA for a big shopping haul. It is time to restock the kitchen. Um, but first, we are going to have a little Chick-fil-A treat. Um, shopping trips just go better when your belly's full. So I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-A sweet tea and my teenager helper is gonna get a meal and then we'll be on our way. So here is my receipt today. It's pretty long, as you can tell, and um, it's kind of curling back up on itself, but I bought, let's see, grand total before we get started here is $217.65, and you see here at the end, I got 10 cent packs of tortillas. Um, the due date on those is coming up soon, but what's great about them is that I can put them in the freezer and just pull them out as needed. I like to make quesadillas, I can make fajitas, I can make burritos, um, all sorts of things with these, and at 10 cents a piece, I mean, come on, that's just a bargain you can't turn down. So I bought, uh, they were 10 for a dollar, as seen right here, and I bought uh, 10 of those. So I will show you those at the end of my haul here. So let's take a look and see what all I got today. I got a variety of inexpensive things and some uh, slightly more expensive things, but things that our family will enjoy. It is nice to be able to splurge when I have a nice grocery store like this that gives me the budget to do it or lets me do it with my budget. So I got all of this that is on our kitchen island and then all of this over here on this secondary set of cabinets. Here is Luke the dog. Say hello, Luke. He is resting and watching mom put everything together. He likes to be nearby me. He is a very loyal soul. Love him so much. So let's get started and take a look here. Um, my teenager went with me. He is a very helpful person. And so I let him pick out treats that he wants. Um, also, let me take a moment to remind everyone, also, this is not a full, complete, balanced diet. I'm adding what you see here to the things that I already have in my pantry, freezers, and refrigerators. So, um, don't necessarily look at this and say, oh, well, you know, this is what they're eating and um, it's not complete or there's junk food or whatever. Everything in moderation, it goes into the food storage that I already have. So um, let's take a look at what all we got. Okay, so uh, teenager wanted a 12 pack of Sunkissed cans. I bought Eggo Waffles variety packs, two of those for $1.79 a piece. Pizza rolls, um, I don't remember how much these were, but there's a hundred in there. My kids went to someone else's house recently and that person served them Totino's pizza rolls. And they came back to my house saying how much they loved it and they were so excited for it and wanted me to buy it if I could find it at the store. So, mom came through and bought the Totino's pizza rolls. Um, there'll just be a little fill-in snack thing for them from time to time. Um, I also bought some New York strip steaks and that was a decent price. Um, three packs of the lower sodium honey ham from Hillshire Farms. This is 80 ounces. I think these were, I can't remember if they were 79 cents a piece or dollar a piece. Either way, it's really super good deal. It was at least half the price that you might find this at any other store. And our family really enjoys sandwiches. So this was a bargain. I'm going to keep one in the fridge and put two in the freezer. You can freeze deli meat. I don't know if you knew that, but you can do it. You can also freeze bread. So basically anything you need for a sandwich, almost anything, you can put in the freezer. I bought Jimmy Dean um, Thick Premium Bacon. Cocktail Smokies were a dollar a piece. So same thing, um, I, will, I bought three, I'll put two in the freezer, save one in the refrigerator, and I will make uh, pigs in a blanket. My kids love pigs in a blanket. All you have to do is wrap it up in the little Pillsbury canned dough. The crescent roll dough is great for this. There's recipes all over the internet, so look for that, Google that, and you'll see. Um, we like uh, cocktail shrimp and sauce. Um, kids love, uh, my kids love the french fries. I bought these, I've never seen them before. 
It's called Farm Rich Time Outs Boneless Chicken Bites and Sweet Barbecue Sauce. It is, um, it looks like it's just one serving per container, but it's only 79 cents. Um, and Farm Rich makes good food, so we'll see if my kids like that or not. Um, and then I bought these breakfast bowls. I think they were like, I don't know, a little bit over a dollar. They were a dollar and some change each. I bought two of those to see if I would like those. I like to have protein with my breakfast in the morning, um, and this looked like a new way to try some protein. Um, I got Brickstone sour cream. These are the big 24 ounce containers. They were a dollar and some change. Um, fruit pops, these are Annie's cheddar shells and broccoli macaroni and cheese. These are frozen. I thought these might be good for when we're having a very busy day. Maybe if there's a Taekwondo competition for my kids or whatever, my kids would enjoy this, something quick. And then I got three packs of the El Monterey burritos. My kids love these. This is five pounds of cheddar cheese. We love cheddar cheese. It was $9.99 for five pounds. So that's just under $2 a pound. That is a very good, good price. And it is Lando Lakes brand, so it is good quality. Um, we got broccoli cuts, two bags of those. We can use those in lots of recipes. Um, strawberry tang twist. It says strawberry tangerine fruit sorbet world with frozen yogurt um, and live and active cultures. I don't know. I've never had it before, but I like strawberry. I like um, citrus fruit. And so we'll see how it goes. And then blue bunny bunny snacks. These are like little, uh, what do you call them? Little chocolate cookie covered ice cream amazingness. So the kids will like those. I also bought Dean's Big Chipper S'mores. There is There are four s'mores cookies, ice cream cookies in these. And then this is Tyson brand chicken nuggets. I got two bags of that. Um, I got this Rudy's sausage biscuits. My kids love these for breakfast in the mornings. It's a way to get a hot breakfast really fast. Um, Halo Top, this is basically, it seems like it's gonna be sherbet. Um, and that's a, these were only a dollar a piece. I know they go for a lot more than a dollar a piece in the regular grocery stores. This is Laura's Nature's Promise plant-based patty. Um, I've never had it before. I think the way I read it, there's two patties per package and it was 50, I mean, it was a dollar per one of these packages, which is 50 cents per patty. Um, and I know Laura's has an excellent reputation. That brand is really incredible. Now, I don't know how they'll taste. It says it's fully cooked, heat and eat, we'll see. Um, but for a dollar a piece, I got three packs of those. So that's six patties. We'll try those out one day. Um, I got some creamer for my coffee, got two gallons of milk, and then let me go to the next counter. Okay, so let's zoom in on counter number two. I got two big 20 ounce loaves of bread. I got some hamburger buns to go with the patties that we discussed previously on the other countertop. The Pop-Tarts were less than $2 for a box. I don't really remember exactly how much, but that was a bargain. And I mean, it's just a treat for the kids. They'll enjoy it. Um, five pounds of rice, two pounds of dry kidney beans. I got a head of cabbage. I got 10 pounds of potatoes. I think these were $3.99 per bag. So like 39 cents for a pound of potatoes. It's an excellent price. We will eat those. A um, dollar for a uh, huge bag of celery. I weighed this just to see how much it, it was. It's like two and a half pounds of celery for a dollar. You cannot beat that. Um, teenager picked this out. He said dill pickles, sunflower seeds. He loves that. Um, he has good memories of eating these with his dad. Um, and so he picked these out. He wanted those. Then we have these little water flavoring things, these little packets, raspberry lemonade. The kids love those. This does not have caffeine. These are for the kids. These do have caffeine, and these are for mama and grown-up teenage son who's 18. So this gives us a little boost in our water bottle. And then we've got graham crackers. I've got more of this egg white mayonnaise dressing. Um, this stuff we love, and it's in a really handy little convenient squirt bottle. So um, I had tried it last time and got one bottle, and we loved it so much, this time I got three bottles. And then I got two 
jars of dill pickles for my baby girl who loves pickles. And then three containers of lemon juice from Concentrate. We love, 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 all my kids and me, to put a little tiny splash of lemon juice in our water. No sugar needed, just gives the water a little tang so your water doesn't taste boring if you are able to drink a lot of water, which, you know, everything in moderation. It's healthy if you drink a, you know, reasonable amount of water during the day. So this helps with that. We got three very large containers of ragu. These are four pounds and two ounces each. They were $3.99 a piece. It was a really good price. I got Campbell's chicken noodle soup for 79 cents a can. I got seven packs of spaghetti. These are a pound and these were a dollar a piece. So we have pasta to go with the pasta sauce and I have a ton of ground beef already in my freezer. So we will have spaghetti. And then I got two cans of chicken, canned chicken. And I got three cans of pork and beans. The kids may not like this so much. Um, this is more for me. I seem to be the only person in the household that really likes these. I got 12, a 12 pack of Cheez-Its. These are for me to take to work and go in my snack drawer at work. So I've got 12 little snack packs, help me power through the day at work. Then I got a can of whole tomatoes. This is six pounds and six ounces. I don't remember how much this was, but it was well under $5. Um, so it was a really good deal. I, I wanna say it was like maybe $3 and some change somewhere in that neighborhood. Then I got a can of coffee a can of Skippy. I think this was three pounds. I think this was somewhere in the neighborhood of like maybe six or six and a half dollars, something like that. I don't really remember. Um, and it's got a great use by date. It says July 7th, 2022. We'll use that within just a couple of months, well before that date. Um, and then here is all of my stack of the tortillas. So these will be useful. Now they're not the white, um, the white flour tortillas. They do have whole grain in them, um, multi-grain, so they're a different color. And that may be perhaps why they didn't sell quite as quickly, but that's fine with me because it means that I get a nice bargain. So for all of this, we did really well and we were, you may be wondering how much time do we spend in the store? Basically, just a shade over an hour. Um, my teenager and I make a really good team. So I wanna say maybe like an hour and 10 minutes or something, I think we were in there. Um, spent $217, if I recall correctly. And now we're home. We're gonna unpack it into our pantry. And I do appreciate you guys watching and cheering me on through my shopping adventures. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. God bless everybody. Stay safe. And that's how I'm doing it.